Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a new quadcopter that just came out. Um, if you look at it, I'm sure some of you are out there going, oh heck, there's a clone of another Hubson. And you're right. Obviously this looks like it's a clone of the H107D, but um, it actually feels very well made. But uh, the resemblance is where it ends. This is actually uh, does not have FPV capability like the H107D. Um, this, but it does have a 2 megapixel camera included. So we're going to demonstrate that. And it also has headless mode and a, and a return to home feature that I'm going to try to demonstrate today. So let's go into the flight. This is called the Sky... What is it called? The Sky Fighter <laughs> JY001. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, the quadcopter's been bound. I'm going right to high. And the camera's recording also. And I'm going to set headless mode right away. Oh. That's the headless mode direction I was pointing in, huh? But yeah, this has headless mode. Now I'm coming out of headless mode. Headless mode is silly on this thing. <laughs> but let's go into flying. I'm recording at the same time, by the way. Now the range on this thing is very short. And I wanted to point that out. Um, we're only talking about 20 meters range. And the reason being, I don't think that the engineers shielded this thing, the camera of this quadcopter, properly. It flies very well, I gotta admit that. But the range, like I said, is we're talking about 30 meters. It flies good, but see, there's the range. And that's with the camera operating. Let's turn off the camera. And verify that the camera's off. Okay. Hopefully the range will get a little bit better with the camera off. And yeah, we get bet much better range without the camera on. Much better flight performance out of it. And it becomes a much better quadcopter. Um, the problem again is the camera is not shielded. It's creating RF interference with this quadcopter. Hopefully uh, the engineers uh, made this at uh, JY, whatever the company is, JY is, JY001, will uh, recognize that and correct this because this could be a great quadcopter. It's a great flipper by the way. But the camera, the camera really messes it up, its operation because it's not shielded. Now I'm thinking of going in there and putting some uh, foil on it. Now, let's bring it in for a second. I want to try one thing here. I'm thinking of opening it up and placing some foil between the camera, if it's possible, and uh, the receiver board. And hopefully that would uh, improve the performance of this. But in the meantime, let's go back to flying it just the way it is. Again, without the camera, binding it again. I'm going to pick that as the headless mode. Okay, I've, um, I've rebound the transmitter. I'm going to select that as our headless mode heading. I want to fly this in headless mode for a bit to demonstrate headless mode. It also has a return to home. I'm going to press that return to home. Now. And it's flying back. Now keep in mind, all it's doing is flying back down the headless mode heading. Okay, I'm coming back out of it again. Now if I send it off into the right and hit... That's its range again. <laughs> Turning off headless mode. If I would pick it off, set it off to the right, it would fly back down to the right. Or if I pick it off and fly it off to the left of the base heading, it would do the same. It's not a true return to home, in other words. And I want to stress that. Let's move it off to the left and hit that return to home and show you. See what I mean? Now let's fly it off to my left here. And hit return to home. And I don't know where it's going. So, 
It's not a true return to home. <laughs> it's cutting the grass here. Oh, then I lost a blade. I'm about to call it quits here, folks. Uh, again, this is a good idea. It's a good idea. Nice design. It feels well made. But again, the engineers didn't take into account the shielding required for the uh, camera on this. Okay, let's try it again. Still want to play with this headless mode a bit. Okay, let's move it off to the left here. Hitting return to home and see what I mean? It's flying back. Let's move it off to my left position and hit return to home. And see it just moves just moves down back down my right or my left side. So it's not a true return to home. Let's just fly it regularly now. <laughs> no more messing with that return to, or headless mode on this. Okay, making sure I still had contact. I'm going to toss it this time. Yeah, toss it. We got a wind picking up here. Well, by the way, you can turn the lights off on this thing. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> The lights are off now. It's a nice little funneler. But again, it has limited range because of the RF interference from the camera. And um, the camera takes video in um, MJPEG format, um, which means it's relatively good quality video, but very low compression. That's how they uh, achieve that uh, good quality video compression scheme is not very good. So expect huge file sizes on your card or for your computer. I'm flying in a nice strong breeze in my face right now. It's flying in it relatively well. Where's the flip button again? Let's play with flip some more. So it can flip well. I got a feeling that this company will fix this up in uh, future generations. This will become a great little quad when they do that. When they put that shielding in to take care of that camera problem. To improve the range in this. Because the advertised range is 100 meters. And I'm sure it is 100 meters if that camera is not turned on. <laughs> so it is a great little quad if you keep it close. There, I went through the different yaw rates. They're more or less the same, beginner, intermediate, expert. Same yaw rate through all three. It's just the pitch increases at the higher, uh, at expert mode, and the wind's really picking up now. Okay, hear that breeze? I think there's a rainstorm coming up my way. Okay, this is quite comfortable when I go in. Again, this is a, was a review of the JY001, the Sky Fighter. Hope you enjoy this flight. I'm going to actually try to fly this uh, other little micro here, or nano quadcopter in this wind, just to show it can fly in this wind. Uh, keep an eye out for the little one with the case. I forgot what its name was <laughs> right now. Quadcopter 101, signing out.